Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So welcome to my messy desk. Um, <laughs> I figured it's been a little bit since I just made a simple kind of let's make art craft with me kind of video and so that's what I'm doing today for a little bit. So <clears throat> I'm working on those summer flea market journals. I've actually completed three of them already. Um, I'm probably going to start popping them up in the Etsy shop maybe today. Um, I might film videos and pop a couple of them up today um, <clears throat> as I will be on vacation next week. So I won't be making, um, I won't be making like videos like this a whole lot. I'll see if I am able to make a couple of videos, at least maybe of, you know, the scenery or whatever I'm up to while I'm away. <clears throat> I'll apologize if I sound a little gravelly or I'm sneezing this morning. There is something blooming right now. Oh my goodness. I don't know what it is, but it is giving me the allergies like crazy. I totally feel like my allergies are just this year worse than they've ever been. Like I don't really have bad allergies to seasons and plants and things, but I don't know. This year it's just been a little bit more intense. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm just getting all of these um, little cut phrases out of this bag that I took with me on a car trip the other day. I, I've been trying to replenish my little cut from a book kinds of phrases. And <clears throat> what I'm cutting up right now is this old brownie handbook from 1965. Um, and it's got a lot of really nice things in it and I'm going to be making ephemera from and uh, yeah that is the plan lots of little bits and bobs here and there so um, yeah I've just been kind of working on ephemera over the last several days for these journals so I think what I'll do is just kind of continue along my way on doing that <clears throat> and I will put my my brownie book here back in my bag with my scissors for my next car trip cutting adventures because um, that's one way to kind of get extra work done when you can I'm just gonna plop it back here for a minute okay so the journal that I'm working on is right here in my new <clears throat> handy dandy book holder napkin holder pretty happy about having that <clears throat> Yeah, totally a gravelly voice kind of day. So sorry. So what have we done so far? So this one ha has a pocket on the back. So I added this nice vintage linen um, tablecloth, this rose to it. So I thought that was nice. And then I have gotten started on the inside. So I've got some ephemera in here. I've done <clears throat> a few pages. Look at this cute vintage photo. Isn't that so sweet? These little kids in this tree. So sweet. So, I have done a few pages here. Um, looks like, oh no, this one didn't get skipped. It just doesn't have anything on the front yet. Not that it necessarily needs to. I'm trying not to do something on every page. <clears throat> it doesn't need to be overly busy. Okay. So, I've got a fabric pocket here, and I think this is where I left off. I just hadn't gotten very far on this journal. So, I think what I'll do maybe is... This one, um, I might do a little fabric collage here, and then I'll come back to this page afterward. <clears throat> or possibly, maybe I'll do a little pocket with this, because it's kind of cute. Yeah, I think I just want to use that. It's just a piece of vintage, like, um, it's like a, a clock-in card from a workplace. See if my glue is going to be plugged up. I think it is. Oh, maybe not. Okay. First little bit when you start using art glitter glue, for the first time in the days, you get that big kind of lump of art glitter glue. So we'll just pop that down there. <clears throat> And I should move this. I'll just put this back where it came from and not get glue all over it. <laughs> okay. 
On this side, I've got um, this large envelope that I made in another video that happened in a different video. Okay, so we need to put a tag or something in here. Um, I'm gonna make some stuff, but I actually did make some stuff already, so I might just grab from what I've already made for this one. Just a little journal card there. So that page will be more done now. I'm happier with it. Um, <clears throat> as it is actually. I don't need to do anything else with that. I think I'm quite happy with it. So that's that page. Then we can move on to the next one. This is fine. This is the one that I wanted to do more with, I think. Or was it the one with the fabric pocket? No, that's good. Okay. So we have a fresh page. Okay. So let me see, what do I want to do on this? One, two, three, four. Page four, probably a couple of pockets, and I might just kind of do them right across the whole page. <clears throat> so let's see if we have anything that would be nice to do that with. A longer piece of paper of some sort. That's not really summer theme, that's an iceberg, and unless I'm in Newfoundland in the summertime. <laughs> not that it all needs to be like super summer theme or anything, but. Um, my scraps are too far away from me right now, or my, not my scraps, but I gotta pull all this stuff that you can't see in the background here. I gotta just pull it forward a little bit, cause uh, I, I've reorganized my desk because I've added this solar lamp, which I probably won't use a whole lot while I'm filming because it just makes too bright of a, um, a light. I did an experiment with it, though, to see how it would be. And yeah, it's just too bright. <clears throat> I think I might use this panel of three here. These are Amity Bloom uh, printables. So... I'll just give this a tag. So yeah, I've been actually working kind of feverishly on these journals a bit because I know, you know, I'm going out of uh, out of uh, town for next week. But um, in some ways, it's okay because I can post a couple. Um, at least three will be finished before I go, and then um, I can do the rest when I get back, and then that'll kind of spread them out a little bit more too over summer. So, <clears throat> oops. Okay. Yeah. I just got to trim a little bit more and then I have to put some uh, stronger backing on this so that we can use it to make a long pocket. And I'll probably stitch around it too. I will do that off camera. Um, just because my sewing machine is no longer on my desk here. It's kind of across, well it's not across the room. It's actually just a rolly chair away. It's not very far at all. But I won't make you wait in silence while I <laughs> do my stitching. It's easier to just pause and come back. There we go. I'm trying to decide what to do today. Um, it's a day off of work for me today. thinking about if the weather's not too hot I might do like a trash bash or something go and pick up trash <laughs> and I know that's a weird way to maybe do a beach cleanup kind of thing and go check on some turtle egg nests they are just to make sure that they're um the nest boxes that this group that I'm a part of we we put these um protective nesting boxes over the turtles nests until they reach their maturity week and uh, it gives them a much higher chance of getting to the water without anybody destroying their nest accidentally or purposely. So I may go check on them and um, just kind of do a little bit of a trash bash with the kiddos. I gotta mark where I want to fold this. 
again. Are we still too big? Or am I crooked and that's why? I think this still is a little too big. Let's just there we go. That's a bit better. Um I don't know though if it's going to be super hot today or not. It might be just kind of a pool day for the kids. I'm really hoping that this um, major heat wave that we're seeing sort of settles down, especially for people in like places like British Columbia and um, Portland, Oregon, or Oregon in general, rather, um, all that way, because a lot of those people, I'm guessing, do not have air conditioning because the weather doesn't normally need it. You know, in some places, we're really used to hot weather, at least even seasonally, but I don't know, it doesn't really get that hot there. So, I don't know. I hope it breaks so that people aren't struggling in the heat. Okay, so I'm just gonna take one second here to just stitch around here and I'll be right back. We're back. And I just decided that I would grab a little floral scrap of uh, fabric at it here and I just stitched a tab on as I stitched below the pocket, the base of the pockets. Okay, so just reinforce our fold here. Okay, now I'm just going to take a look at what I have that will fit in these pockets because I did make a bunch of stuff um, yesterday. Let me see. I've been actually making a ton of stuff. I should just I should just pull my whole box over here, but okay. So, um, I made these really fun tags. I was going to do them on video and then I, I just, I ended up just making three of them because I didn't have a lot of these little embroidered appliques, but I bought these embroidered appliques. They were part of like, um, a large piece of fabric, like a napkin. Um, and I decided I wanted to use this corduroy fabric. Um, to make tags with it feels so nice like if if you have um corduroy soft corduroy fabric i totally recommend making tags with that because it's really nice so you just um you can just you know take a piece of paper i use this nice purple just because i thought it would be nice with the yellow stitching and you just you know glue it you can just use glue stick you don't anything need anything really you know crazy because you're going to be stitching around it then you just glue down your fabric, stitch around your edges, and then cut your excess fabric off. Then I took like, I cut a circle of um, the, around the applique, and then I just zigzag stitched around it as well. And it just feels like ha having a little quilt in your hands. It's really fun. So I think I'm gonna pop that in this pocket because um, it just, the yellow and, and the floral, it all kind of goes together. So there's another one. I made another one too, but it's been put in one of the other journals. And then I was actually watching um, Gail Agostinelli, her video the other day where she, um, she used up like an Amazon bag, like the bubble wrap envelopes. And so I try to reuse all of my Amazon packaging whenever I get it. I haven't actually really shopped a lot on Amazon for quite some time now. I haven't needed to, but I do reuse all the packaging in my own shipping for, you know, from my own shop. I just kind of like turn the bag inside out and use it as a shipping bag because they're really high quality, like good bags to ship in. So the, I always have some amount though that I've cut off the excess. And so if you can hear it, it's crinkly in there and, and that's kind of fun and I just covered this one in this silk uh, floral kimono fabric and then the back is um, a higher like a sort of a I'd say like heavyweight um, pearl colored um, scrapbook paper um, it's like a cardstock almost but not quite as thick and so it's still very firm to write on despite the inside having that, that packaging in it and then I did a journal card same way and a, uh, three of these tags this is my eco printing um, and it's just some nice floral fabric and some uh, sari with some embroidery and so yeah they're really fun and they're puffy and that's nice Oh, and here's another one I did, just with some uh, vintage dress fabric. So we also have these ducks. I made these ducks, and they could be cute in there too. So yeah, I think that's what I will go with. 
Um, and then I'll just set the others aside here because I may want to use them for something. And in fact, I might, I don't know if I should put something here. No, I think it's good. I don't want to make it too fussy. <laughs> Let's not get too fussy. Okay, so that's that page. Page four. Um, next page. Is this one. Okay, so we have, this is a digital paper that's been cabbage dyed and there's a nature scene going on here that I don't want to cover up. The inside's blank and then we have this at the back with this cute squirrel. So I think I probably will do most of my work in here, but let's see what I want to do for page five. Um, I think I want to clip some kind of like a vintage document or something to the front and then I'm just kind of using, I have another journal here in the background that I'm using kind of as a guide for what I might want to do. I think like a button tab and a vintage document or something. Let's see what I've got in terms of like cool vintage documents and stuff. Now I do have pages from this brownie book which is kind of cool. It's a brownie record. We could fold that and then maybe put it on here or maybe just um, just on the back so that like I might put some lace or something down the side here. Let's see what I've got. Maybe some blue lace. Just a simple something to just yeah zhuzh it up a little and instead of stitching it because it's such a fine little lace I'm actually just going to fabric tack it on because um it will hold really well and it won't require sewing there we go it's so good to have this new fabric tack bottle and not be struggling with that ugly old one anymore <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we'll just tack the top down, swing it over top here, and just give it a press all the way down. There. We'll snip this little bit here. Put that in my scrap crumbs of fabric. Um, okay, so yeah, that's that's good. Then I need a paper clip for this. And I think I'm going to paper clip it at the top rather than um, the side. There we go. So that's that one. And then this side I want to do like a little fabric kind of collage tab. So let's grab some fabric pieces. All right, give me one second. I need to get buttons. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just grabbed some buttons from my big button bin, which I'm happy to be using. Because, I don't know, like most creatives that do anything with buttons, I've got about a million of them because often when I find a sewing box, I bring it home or a bag of buttons or a jar of buttons, although it's been quite a while since I've done that. I'm trying to not hoard things. Though I think I'm actually doing pretty good on that. I do use my supplies a lot more than I ever used to right now. Okay, so I'm probably going to, yeah, do this in half. So I'll take this bigger button here and start with that one. Just stitch it on. Oops. Oh, I really just like when I do that. <laughs> you pull the needle all the way, the thread all the way out of the needle. Oh. I just learned a little while ago 
that needles actually have like a right side and a wrong side when you're threading them because you know if you think of the piece of metal it's punched out like the holes are punched out of it so if you ever find that you're having a lot of trouble threading a needle like you, the thread seems to not want to go in try flipping your needle to the other side and try threading it through the other side I did not know that until I was watching like some kind of a quilting video where the people are you know really experts at all of this and it was very eye-opening for me and since learning that it has actually worked <laughs> so I am a believer okay and I'm just sewing this on with embroidery floss so I don't need to do a whole bunch of layers and then just head to the back one knot and two knots. Okay. So then I think what I want to do, I could either stitch this or glue this. I could also um, have this like hanging here, like a just as a fun kind of little like not like a fabric flip, but almost like a little medallion flag kind of feeling thing. And that could be cool, but I think I like it as a tab. So I'm actually going to just um, glue it on as well with the fabric glue, fabric tack. You could hand stitch it on as well. You wouldn't want to try to machine stitch it because, um, you know, the buttons would get in the way. I'm going to put this one almost at the bottom, not quite. And then this side, right about there. Okay. Perfect. Okay, well, that's what I want to do with that page. Next page, there's a piece of coffee dyed paper. Um, and I think I want to do, let's see, maybe a pocket on this side. What did I do with this one? A pocket, yeah. Maybe an upward kind of tuck would be kind of cool too. Just seeing if I have like a little, that's too big. Hold on one second, I'm gonna grab some other ephemera I have here. I really need to just bring my ephemera box over here so I'm not constantly like grabbing for things, but. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab my box here. Okay. Sorry about that. Just readjusting my light, which is getting in my way, as always. Okay. Sorry for the arm. Here we go. <laughs> all right. I do have some things that I've made in here. I'm just going to put all the ephemera that I have here back in this box. I really need to be making ephemera. I'm like so low on ephemera right now. I don't think I have any little bitty things. That I want to use to make like a little tuck area. That could be cute, but I don't think so. Um, those are little, so I think I'll put those up front. Actually, this will work perfectly. I did find something good, good. Okay. Just want to make sure that anything that I've made that I have it like 
you know, in a spot to be used because that's the whole point. Okay, so what I want to do with this, I think, is um, make like an upper tuck up here. And then maybe we'll make something like a journal card. Oops, I don't need this glue. What am I doing? I'm using the wrong glue. Not that you can't use fabric tuck for this, but it's paper to paper, so I'm just going to use art glitter glue. Not that, you know, there's any real reason. I totally glued the wrong edges, I think. I totally did. So let's make that what we do over here instead. Because I want it to be on this upper corner. See, distraction. It's just, that's what happens when you get distracted like me. Okay. Let me just see if I do have, um, I think I do have a little tag I'd like to use here. Or a journal card, rather. I made this one last night. It's before I meet a fairy. Sorry, I just got distracted. My <laughs> my phone preview isn't working. There we go. Before I meet a fairy. And it's this cute girl here. So I think that would just be nice up in here. Then we'll do a pocket for this side. Um, and I just have to grab some kind of cool paper to make a pocket from. Hmm. Part of my wanting to use up scraps to make this project makes things a little bit slower when I'm uh, deciding what to use. Which is probably why I haven't been making a lot of videos <laughs> about this. I want to save this little bat from this whole page, I think. That's probably all I want to save from there. So I'm just going to clip them out so I can get rid of the rest of this big piece of paper. We'll just set him over here. All right, maybe I'll use um, this for the pocket. This is jelly printed music paper. Yeah. Okay. Put this needle away so that nobody gets poked. I also think I will cut this out or rip it out because I want to use it. I'm going to get rid of these little dolls that they're holding because they're kind of weird looking. They have really odd faces. Okay. This one I think I have to keep though because I want to keep this whole mushroom intact. And I can collage on top of it to get rid of these guys, maybe. <laughs> I just think they're particularly ugly looking. I don't know what the faces are all about, but the girls are adorable. Okay, um, so this now I need to cut down into a pocket that will fit on that page and also be straight. Because we are not straight. this here a little bit smaller so we'll trim a little more off this side this time okay and then I just need to glue that down onto something a little more a little stronger so that it has some strength and I'll stitch around it so I'm not going to use a ton of glue and I'll probably do some collaging as well. I'm trying to use up all of these flower photos that I have. Um, so I'll see if there's something in there that I like. Hear a little visitor coming my way. 
Okay, um, hello. Hello. Yes. I missed you. You missed me. I missed you too. What you doing? I love you. I love you too. Look, we watch a movie. You want to watch a movie? Yeah. Yeah, we can watch a movie soon. I'm just going to finish up what I'm doing and then we can do something kind of fun. Okay? What's down here? Hmm? Oh, that's a book. Okay, so I think I will put this flower on here. And I'm not using the photography, I'm using a washi sticker because it's easier. <laughs> These stickers are so hard to peel. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Still very hard to peel. Mom. There we go. I'm working. You're working. Okay, I'm working too. I won't. So this, so my thing will not run out of power for life. Oh, right, because your calculator has a solar panel. Okay, so now I'll just trim the ends off here. There we go. Then I need my little punch over here. I'm going to make a little hole. Okay. Then I will glue this down here. Oops. It's harder to glue when you have a little head resting on your shoulder, right? <laughs> okay. There we go. Hi. Uh I just like you. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Alrighty. You're the best. Thank you. I forgot to stitch around that. That's okay. Um, now we need to get a tag out of here. That went over my head. Yeah. Because that would be, I think, probably too wide. Although maybe, let's see. I do already have some other tags made if this one's too big, but uh, I need to back this maybe. Actually, I really don't. It's pretty thick and it's plasticized paper. I'm just so used to backing things that, yeah. I probably don't even need to back this one. Okay. Can, can this move over here? Thank you. Okay. So then I think what I'll do is I'll use a little bit of like book page on either side. Um, just kind of torn. Mom. Yes, lovey. Thank you. Get this out of the way. I want the on. Okay, we'll watch we'll watch it in a little bit. Mama's just gonna finish her video, okay? And then I will turn it on for you. Okay, so let's just see how this might work here. Mom. And I will ink around. Probably ink around the edges and then that one there and then I'll do another one on the other side even though we don't really need it just to kind of have a little bit of matchy-matchy. Then I need green ink right here. Just glue these down. Right there. Off the edge a little bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mom, can we watch Woody down here? Yep. In a few minutes, okay? There we go. And I will just snip the excess off the back here. Just 
put a little bit of ink up here too, just to kind of make the whole thing cohesive. And I'm going to round these corners. Now this is definitely strong enough without being backed because it's that plasticky kind of paper from the book cover. There we go. And then we'll just ink up the back a little. There we go. Okay, now well, let's see if this fits. <laughs> or did we do all this work and we just have an extra tag maybe? Yep, I think we did. Why do you, why <laughs> so, do you use that? It's ink. Okay, so I think we will go with a different tag for this pocket and use this on another piece maybe. Yeah, it's a little too thick. Okay. So I have another tag in here that I can use that I just finished making. Okay. So this one I made yesterday. It's just from a book page and I put early in the summer here. Um, I might just kind of grunge that up a little. Um, yeah, I just made that one yesterday and I think it will go. I gotta snip this little. Actually, I'll just glue it down. What am I thinking? I'm just gonna glue this little corner of fabric. I didn't stitch around this piece of fabric. I was just kind of playing, and I didn't know if I was gonna leave it there, and so then I, I just didn't want to stitch around it. <laughs> but that will fit in there well. There we go. Okay, so that's that page done. Just one moment, please. Sorry, we have interruptions today, but. That's what happens when you got little kiddos. Okay, so that's that page. So this is coming along. Um, this is kind of what these journals are gonna be like. Lots of like nature and summer and vintage feel and fabric and um, yeah, like sort of, you know, childhood like inspiration, art, um, lots of fun things. So that is where I'm going with these journals. So you will see probably a couple videos coming out soon because I do have three of them completed. Um, and yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today and with uh, the little one here who is my, my um, more frequent company in the studio. She tends to come hang out with me more often these days. So have a lovely day. I hope you have a nice long weekend if you have one and um, I'll talk to you soon in the next video.